Good morning, cutie pies. How are you today? This is a unexpected surprise love reading for the person on your mind. I just, if I can hold on to the cards, would be lovely, you know? I want to uh, just see what the energies are between you two. What's the current energy? What's the past energy? I've never done this on my channel, so, well, let's see what happens. This is, again, for whoever's on your mind and whoever's thinking of you or maybe who's uh, who you're thinking of and maybe who's thinking of you. So we will get with it. I'm going to use the Tarot of the Mystical Moments deck. I love this deck. It's fantastic. It really is. A little big. A little big for my hands. That's what she said. I just had to say it. It really is. I, I have a hard time holding on to this deck, but I love it. I really do. So, okay, let's get to it, guys. You guys don't have all day. You're busy people. You don't want a half hour reading. You want to get to the goods. Okay, what's the past energy between the, between you and this person on your mind? Well, it's the King of Pentacles. And on this deck, it's funny, the first one that comes out. Um, I What I like about this deck is all the kings have male kings, but they also have female kings. So... What that tells me offhand is you, if this is applying to a female, a female energy, you are definitely um, the leader of your own life. You probably make good money, run your own home, um, very fair, probably have kids. Just, you know, you're just good with your, you're good with your money. And this is how this person probably sees you, but let's not jump the gun, okay? What's the current energy between you two? What is the current energy between you guys? Ooh, six of pentacles reverse. Hmm. Are we no longer giving to each other? Are you guys taking a break? Are you on pause? What's going on? We'll find out. What's on this person's mind? What are they thinking of? Let's spy on them, shall we? What's on their mind? Ace of Wands. Ooh. Passion. Ace of Wands. Something passionate is on their mind. A new beginning. But in what? Is it with you? Is it with someone else? We shall see. How does this person view you? What what do they think of you? How does this mysterious person view you? How do they? Eight of Cups, they see you walking away. Did you guys walk away from... Uh, did you walk away from somebody? They, they see you walking away. That's such a lovely card, really. And you know what? I If you notice on this card, if the glare isn't so terrible, I don't know how to hold it, there's pears. There's true pears all over. There's, you know, dragonflies, butterflies, birds, swans. And here this, she is as a ladybug, singular. And she's, she's fine walking her own path. She, she doesn't need somebody, he or she, you, you know, whoever I'm reading for. You don't really need somebody to complete you. Um, I, would it be nice? Sure. But if you are the king of pentacles in your own life, you don't need somebody to make money for you or pay your bills. You're, you're good on your own. And until you find that person, um, you just don't want to mess with people underneath you. Is that terrible to say? Eh, I said it. How, uh, how does this person feel about you? How do they feel about you? How do they feel about you? Well, they see you as the nine of swords reverse, that you're over them. Are you, that you're healed from them, that you're not losing sleep over them. Oh, I'm kind of proud of you. I'll be honest. Uh, if, if you have some inner turmoil going on, they don't see it. They see you're doing really well. How does this person want to move forward with you? What, how does this person want to move forward with you? Ooh, the chariot, victory. And this is a snail and so, and she's riding a snail no matter how long it takes. And I feel like this, I felt a need to use this deck on this particular reading because whoever I'm reading for, this is, if this is your story, how this person sees you is no matter how long it takes, no matter how difficult the journey is, they want victory with you. If you need time away from them, they're letting you have it. But with the Ace of Wands right above it, right above her head, they still have a lot of passion for you. They're just giving you your space. They see you're probably working really hard, saving, taking care of you, taking care of what you need to take care of. You're no longer given to this, but they, they're having patience. They are. What is the energy you don't see coming that's coming? Can I, I can't even say that right. My mind is just a mess. Uh, what is the energy coming that you can't see quite yet, coming towards you? What is it? 
Three of Cups. Celebration. Colla well, collaboration's Three of Pentacles, but I'm kind of feeling it with this. The Three of Cups. Happy days are ahead. Maybe it's just you celebrating with friends because it is, I mean, we do have three, unless this is like a Mormon. Oh, I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> uh, sorry, too much TLC. Uh, if this is one of those kind of polygamous kind of relationships, but I'm feeling friendship. But I mean, coming towards you, celebrations with with people, but it could also be uh, with this person coming back together. It could be. Three of Cups is a really happy card. What's your advice? Oh my gosh. I'm not taking those. Three cards just flew out. I'm not taking those because I don't know if it's meant to be or if my hands are just extremely too small for this deck. But I like it. I'm going to keep using this deck. I don't care. Uh, what's the advice? What's Tarot's advice for you in this relationship? What's your advice? Well, it's the Ten of Swords. Ten of Swords. You probably had an ending with this person. Um, you ended a cycle with this person. You probably healed from this person. And what I'm intuitively getting, if you go back to it, you're going to open up an old wound. You're going to delay your healing again. Yeah. Unfortunately, that's the advice. You're going back to this, you're going to have to heal from it again. And some of you could have taken a long ass time to heal from it. Is that something you want to do? What's the outcome? Watch it be like the Two of Cups. Well, which is fine, which is great. I would love for the Two of Cups to come out. But what's the outcome? What is the outcome here for my lovely people watching all zodiacs? Well, it's the Nine of Pentacles reverse. Yeah, this, the outcome between you two is there is going to be no investment here. There really isn't. I don't I don't think, oh, I hate saying it. Yeah, look at this, bottom of the deck. I don't, I'll clarify, but I don't feel like there's gonna be an investment here. I think you are above this level. I think, I think maybe you were on this person's level at some point, you were on their frequency. And when you healed, you, you jump, you jump too many levels to go back down. Because you, you, whatever you're after, or whatever you're in, you're in a really good energy right now. And so if you go back to this and the outcome, it says you're going to have a card of loss, especially next to the Ten of Swords. But at the bottom of the deck, look at this. We have the Magician and the Ten of Cups. This is what you're manifesting. You want something solid, uh, someone you can come home to and be happy with, weather the storms with. Even look at a beautiful rainbow uh, with goldfish swimming all around you. This is what you're manifesting. You guys are not going to mess around with any fuck boy, fuck girl energies. I said that. I did. What are we going to clarify with? I don't know it, deck. I don't know. What do you guys think? What should I clarify with? I'm actually being pulled to this. I don't know how good you can see it because it's, it's um, I think it's, I don't know. Is this called the Golden Tarot? I think it is. But you see how shiny it is? It's really pretty. You're just going to, you're just going to have to trust me when I say the card's coming out because, but I'm really feeling I need to clarify with this deck. So... Please tell me in the past position, what is what is this King of Pentacles? What is this King of Pentacles? I'm, I'm feeling like these are the people watching now and watching in the future. This is them in their own life, but we'll clarify anyway because they just don't want to hear my big mouth running. They want to know what the cards say, right? Right. What is this King of Pentacles? Well, look at that. Look at that. Oh, I love it. The Empress. Yeah. Am I right or am I right? That is you guys. You're in empress mode. Uh, and you know what's so funny is, uh, if I could not mess up the whole spread, if you guys can actually see that, it looks, they look alike. Do you guys see that? Can you see that? No. Ah, uh, the glare. They actually look alike. So it's you. It's you. It's you're holding up a mirror to yourself and you're like, I'm, I, I don't need this crappy energy back. I really don't. And that's how this person's seeing you. You are an empress. I mean, yeah, okay. It's actually nine of pentacles. Isn't that funny? Now that I'm looking at it and I see the nine because I thought that was I thought that was something else. It's the nine of pentacles, but we know that's a junior empress. Same thing, same thing. Minor arcana to the empress card. That is who you guys are right now. And, the, okay, king of pentacles is Taurian energy. Nine of pentacles is Virgo. So you probably are an earth sign. Whoever, it, it could be. Um, or you have a lot of earth. You have earth in your charts. 
Or you can have no earth, but I'm telling you, that is you. Nine of Pentacles. Okay, Six of Pentacles reverse. You're, why is that in the current energy? Why are you no longer given to the situation? Why is it? Well, the King of Swords. Somebody had a balls up, didn't they? Probably um, found out something that you did not want to be a part of. Maybe this person uh, made you feel very like in a competitive situation. We all know what that means with the Three of Cups here. Could have been part of a third party. And I, I just feel like you outgrew it, really. I feel like, you know what, you got, you, you got the clarity, the Ace of Swords, his sword just, you know, gave him the ultimate, he, he's holding the ultimate truth. So yeah, you got the clarity on this situation. You got some focus, you probably made a new path away from this person, and now you're the King of Swords. You're just given no more emotion, because you know the King of Swords is not an emotional kind of guy, and I feel like that's you in this situation. You're probably given this absolutely no energy, really. And this popped out on this deck, Page of Swords. Just want to say it, and I'm going to put it here because this person's probably watching you. If they, if this is the current, if, if, like I said, I think they're seeing you guys probably had a major glow up. They're watching you. They like what they see. They don't know if they can get you back, to be honest. What is the Ace of Wands on this person's mind? What is this new beginning they want with you? What is it? Well, it's the world reverse. They have unfinished business. One, there's unfinished business on their end, but they're stuck. They're still stuck in that same, they're stuck in the past with you. But I don't think they feel, I truly don't feel, uh, I can't talk. I really don't think they can get you back. I think they're having a lack of confidence, but they're definitely stuck in the past with you. Yeah, and highly, I think they're highly attracted to you still with the Ace of Wands there, highly attracted to you. What is Eight of Cups and how they view you? They see you walking away. So yeah, like I said, the Page of Swords, if they view you walking away, they're definitely watching you. One way or another, they're watching you. They got their little peepers on you. Why is the Eight of Cups here? Well, Nine of Cups, this is how they view you. You are real, can you see that? I mean, that's you guys. Got the Nine of Pentacles above it. We got the Nine of Cups below it. You guys are really good. I'm just feeling that. And it's kind of funny. If I'm picking up, why I don't know why I'm even picking up this energy. Because I feel like if, if this is if this person has you on their mind more than you actually have them on their on their mind. So I don't know why I'm picking this up and why you even need to know. Because I feel like you are really moving past this energy. But they're not moving past you. No, they're not. But they see you. I mean, you must be doing, you're probably doing really well in your life. And they see you very happy and alone. Because the guy's by himself. He doesn't have like a, a hot, hot person on his lap, does he? No, he's, he's good on his own with his nine golden cups. So, speaking of nines, we have the nine of swords reverse and how they feel about you. They feel that you are healed. That you're not thinking of them. You don't worry about them anymore. Why is the nine of swords reverse? Yeah, four of swords reverse. You're healed. What is that? Remember in the 80s? I'm 45. So, and I grew up in a very Pentecostal slash Catholic household. But when I would go to my grandma's on the weekends, she would watch it. What is that religious channel? Not PTA or something like that. But you know that you're healed. And they would hit the person on the head. I don't know why I got that so strongly with this card. They see that you're healed from them. God literally touched you, cleared, cleansed your energy of this toxicity. I'm feeling like this was probably toxic for you because they were probably a bit of a playa and you're healed. Four of swords reversed, the nine of swords reversed. You're not losing any sleep over this character. You're not because, but how they want to move forward is the chariot. This, this person still wants a victory no matter how long it takes. What is that Rick Astley song? Never going to give you up popped into my head. Yeah. Never going to give you up. No matter how long it takes, this, this person's going to ride their snail. They want to, they're, 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 yeah, good luck trying to get rid of them. <laughs> good luck, because look at, <laughs> look, he's trying to manifest you. <laughs> I don't know, I just got a Gargamel, you know, from, I have all these images popping in my head from the Smurfs. You got a Gargamel trying to manifest you in the deep dark and the full moon. He's probably out in the woods collecting, collecting feathers and things and shit and going to make a little... You know, what is that, a big pot? They're gonna they're trying they're trying to get you back any way they can. That is funny. 
That is hysterical. Yep, they're trying to, can, let me get one more. Vir, another Virgo, a lot of Virgo here. Virgo, Gemini, energy, chariots of cancer. What is this? What is this Virgo doing here? Yeah, six of cups. <laughs> this person, you, you guys better look out your windows. <laughs> they have it so bad for you. They have it so freaking bad for you. They want to come back. They do, because at the bottom of the deck there is the queen of, queen of Pentacles. I felt that with the female king of Pentacles, but this is, they see you. Man, they, they see you have everything they desire. And you know what? When they had you, they probably, they played around, and it wasn't until they lost you, to, and that's when they realized what they had, especially when they probably were messing around with people after you, or maybe even during you, and realized what's out there compared to what they had, and they, they screwed up. They did. Speaking of third parties, three three of cups, energy coming towards you, you don't see coming. But I'm not feeling third party. It's just connecting because I'm an intuitive reader, even though there's this linear and plots and past. I will cross cards when I see it, and I'm feeling like this is you guys. I do feel like some of you were definitely in a third party because that showed up, but I think this is you just celebrating with those uh with you know, with your loved ones, your family, your kids, your siblings, your parents, your friends. You're just living the good life. You're living the Nine of Cups, Empress, Nine of Pentacles life, you know? Anyway, that's the energy coming towards you. Let's let's clarify it. Yeah, and you're working hard. You're working your ass off. But you know what? You're probably not letting... And with the King of Pentacles and Nine of Pentacles and the Ten of Wands, this is you putting effort into your own life. And people probably... You probably do it effortlessly. You probably do. You don't even break a sweat. And you're like, I, I got it. As the guy's like literally face down, still trying to carry the ten of wands. You're probably even offering to carry other people's wands to help them out. And uh, people see you pulling shit off effortlessly. No matter the struggle, you're not, you're really not showing it. Ten of swords. We got two tens. I just want to put that on that there's an ending. Like you were at this cycle, whatever you're in, this, this was, this is over. At least for you, it's over. But your advice is a ten of swords. Why is that? Why is the Ten of Swords here? Well, it's the Seven of Swords. <laughs> Don't you love tarot? It tells a very specific story. It's not, it's not effing around. This is why somebody tried to, to lie on you, to cheat on you, to manipulate you, to get away with something. This is the, literally the card of trying to get away with something. You busted them. Why am I getting that? You may have seen something online. Something. You busted them. And I don't even, I'm not even feeling like there was a fight. I just feel like you got into this chariot and that's you. Like, I, I will ride the first thing. Snail, you're it. I'm on, I'm out of here. That could even be you, the chariot, getting out of there. Yep. One more on that, Ten of Swords. Even though it doesn't feel like we need to clarify, but what the hell? What else are we doing today? Let's clarify one more. Yeah, Wheel of Fortune Reverse. There's no... <laughs> With the seven of swords, ten of swords here, yeah, you're not jumping on this guy's wheel anymore. The cycle's over. If, if, and, and for him, I feel like with the world reverse and the wheel of fortune reverse, sure, there could be, I do feel at like, least for one party here, there's unfinished business. And if you felt like that in the past, I don't even think you care. I just don't think you care. And you're probably even saying to me, why are you even bringing this up? My God, I forgot about this. Nine of Pentacles reverse is your outcome. Why is that here? Oh. And real quick, before I pull a card, also it's outcome and Nine of Pentacles reverse. Did you guys feel like when you left this situation, this relationship, that your luck got better? I got that real strong with this card. I'm feeling it really strongly. If you go back to it, oh, I hate putting it out there. But I almost feel like if you go back to it, it's like that wheel. See how the wheel's reversed? The wheel spins. It could spin forward or spin backward. I feel like if you guys go back, the wheel is going to start spinning backwards. That's why it's reversed. And one, you're delaying your healing. You're going to get ripped open again with these Ten of Swords. But you're going to lose money, lose your energy, lose your balance, lose, lose, lose. And it's like your luck. The luck will go back. Like the good luck you found is going to... I just wanted to put that out there. And I don't... Oh, it just seems heebie-jeebie. Hoo -boo, hoo boo But I just wanted to say that. Okay, Nine of Pentacles reverse. Why is that here in the outcome? Why is it? Yeah, High Priestess reverse. This is how, okay, I'll get one more, but 
when you were with this person, I feel like you couldn't, your intuition probably felt blocked off. They probably didn't know if you, you probably didn't even know if you were coming or going. You were, they probably, I mean, you just spent so much energy trying to uncover what they're really doing that the signs and the red flags were there. The God, spirit, the universe were giving you red flag after red flag, sign after sign. You turn on the radio and it might be like, you know, some type of cheating lion song, but you're like, no, 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 no. That's the high priestess reverse. That is what you're going to go back into. Is that what you want to go back into? Or do you want to stay in this King of Pentacles, Empress, Nine of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles mode? I keep saying Empress. <laughs> Guys, I know that's not an Empress, but I'm going to see an Empress. I intuitively, I'm seeing that as an Empress. And it, so it shall be. So one more on this high, on the outcome with the Nine of Pentacles reverse and the High Priestess reverse. Tell me about that. Yeah, Ace of Pentacles. That, this is your brand new beginning. The universe says, listen, listen. Ladies and gentlemen, listen. You have two, two choices. You can choose door A or door B. Door B gives you more abundance, a, a new path away. See, that, see this little path? You go into this path, as soon as you go through, the door closes behind you, you can't go back. But it's happiness. It is a lot of happiness. It's 10 of cups energy. It's, you know, it's, it's just celebration. Like we got the three of cups even here. Door A is dark night of the soul. It's not really a hard decision. Maybe, now, now that I say that, maybe this person momentarily will make it hard. Maybe it's the promises I changed. Oh, I, you know, I, I moved into a better place. Person might, dr you know, pull up driving a, a BMW or whatever, and you're like, oh, maybe they started turning their life around. No, 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 no. This is, this is again, magician. Remember who you're dealing with. We clarified, you're dealing with a magician. You're dealing with an illusionist. Keep that in mind. When that Six of Cups comes back, you're dealing with a magician. Keep it, keep it moving forward, people. Keep it moving forward because this is, this is your overall outcome. This is what's headed. This is where you are. Ten of Cups and the magician. You are your own magician. And the difference between that magician and this is, look at, she's empath empathetic, holding, what is that, a swan? With a little magic wand and somebody's holding it up i love this card it's just it, the imagery is just beautiful but this i mean isn't she very empathetic this is a person who manifests her own life not at the expense of others there i said that very clearly i want to say that you are manifesting your own future not at the expense of others for me to say that is this person manifests at the expense of others they they operate out of a lack, of, like a scarcity mindset is not enough to go around. So I'm going to get mine, like the Seven of Swords here. I'm going to get mine, you know. I'm going to get why the getting's good. But let me get a card. Since it's out here, Ten of Cups and the Magician. Why are my viewers who are watching this now and in the future? Tell me about this. Can I have a card on that, Ten of Cups and the Magician? Can I have a card on that? The Chariot Reversed. Cancer energy, not moving forward. Okay, that that's talking past. I need a future card here. I got past energy. Can we can we can we clear the deck with this person real quick and get something? Can we get a a card they need? Why is it nine of swords? It's it's just it's. I don't think it's gonna let me. Again, 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 again. If you you can manifest your future with the ten of cups. But if you go back to it, this is you're going to be stuck in that Nine of Swords. The Chariot is a stuck energy. Nine of Swords is up all night. You guys are at a Four of Swords, Nine of Swords reverse right now. Don't go back. That's my advice. Not You may not even care what my advice is, but I'm just saying, don't go back. All right. All right, kids. That's what I have. Wasn't that fun? Okay. I hope you have a great day. Take care.